what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go and take a picture. Pretty simple idea. I've got a Tamron 28 to 200 lens. Just oh, that range is crazy. And a Sony A7R Mark III. So yeah, it's not the best day out there. It is a bit cloudy to be honest, but if the sky is miserable, then it's not the end of the world because of a little bitch called Photoshop. I can make anything look like anything. <laughs> Breeden Hill Tower. I wouldn't call it a tower. I'd call it more a box. It was just a box. Probably about an hour into the walk, I was thinking, this better be the best tower I've ever seen in my whole fucking life. And it wasn't the best tower I've seen in my life. It was far from it, but we went up there, we took the camera, and we got some pictures. The first pictures I got, I stood up on a wall. Because the issue was, this box <laughs> was at the top of a mound. It was hard to get the viewing because the subject was the highest point. At its base was the highest point of the hill. And I thought, if I stand on this wall, I might get a good angle. And there's a nice photo here of a guy with, what's it called? His hands on his hips, a guy with his hands on his hips. I don't know him, let's call him Baxter. He's there with his hands on his hips. His missus is sat there going, Baxter, you've fucking been a, why are you taking me on walk? He said, shut up, Susan. I'm fucking sick of it. I actually have a plan for this photo. So I was saying before, it was annoying because I couldn't see the view. So I walked over to kind of similar to where the guy was. And look at this photo here. This is a photo of the view, just of the view. And you can see it all because I was right at the tower was literally, I could have touched it. So my idea is I've got this view and what I'm going to do, I'm going to get this photo of the guy with his arms crossed and cut out the background and then I'm going to use this photo of the scenery and Photoshop that in and maybe it might not work, it's just an idea. This is the one that I'm going to run the test on. So I'm in Photoshop now, as you can see though, I've already cut the background out just quickly though, as you can see I haven't bothered with stuff like this. Now let's get this background photo in there, put it in, just move it below that layer, yes, this is more like it. So here we have a photo with this man where he's got his hands on his hips. I want him. Not in like a weird way. Just add a bit of his hair on, you know, he's got, you got great hair, sir. And I'm gonna drop a mask on him. Look how small he is. Control C, I'm gonna bring it over. Ooh, he stood at the top of the tower. Big man. Put him there like that. Okay, so we're back in Lightroom. Here's a photo. Let me show you some befores and afters. I think this is a very nice improvement considering what you're looking at. What I'm going to do now is just go through each slider one by one, kind of push it left and right and see what I prefer. And we'll see what I come out with in the end. I'm going to go ahead and say I'm happy with this photo. I'll put the before and after on screen for you. A quick trip out in the morning to get a photo of Breeden Hill of the Breeden Box. I think I was quite clever with what I did. Once I got up there, it was quite frustrating for me that I couldn't see the view. So I think combining the actual view with the picture of the box works really well because you can see the view more. And people who, even people who go for walks up there, they'll just see that and think, ah, oh, like, yeah, th there's a picture of the Breeden Box with the view in the background because they know that's what the view up there is so but yeah anyway that's the photo good job see you later